episode 36. And if you are a first time viewer, thank you for stopping by. If you would like to be notified anytime I post videos, just click the little red subscription button down below and it will let you know uh, when I do post something. I tend to put my podcasts up on Saturday nights. Uh, for the most part, sometimes there's exceptions, but most of the time it's on Saturday nights. And I have got all kinds of exciting things to share with you this week. Um, I have a new uh, knitting design. It should be released tonight or tomorrow morning. I made a sheep. There's my little sheep. This is, this is Shirley Sheep. The pattern on Ravelry is called From Sheep to Shawl, and it's because... Shirley Sheep is literally knitting her shawl from her own fleece. So there she is. She is approximately, if she's standing up, she's about 15 inches tall. And she has a little weight in her bottom here. Yeah, she's bare from the bottom down because she's knitting her little, her little shawl right here. Um, she has a weight in her bottom, so when you sit her down, she does stay upright. There's her little face. So this is, like I said, it's called From Sheep to Shawl. It is going to be available on Ravelry. It will be $3 for the pattern. So there it is. Hot off the needles. I finished it just a little bit ago. I'm still typing. As I'm recording this, I'm still typing up the pattern. But the pattern should be up on Ravelry tonight. The yarn I used for this was, this is Knit Picks. Uh, it's in the palette. It's a fingering weight. This is what I have left of the ball of yarn. So I've, I've probably used about half of it. And I think there's 231 yards in a 50 gram ball. So I used about half. And let's see. Yeah. Oyster Heather in the fingering weight. And then this yarn that I used, I got from my local yarn shop. I'm going to show it up close. It is a discontinued yarn, um, but you could substitute anything that's kind of a chunky yarn for this. This is what it looks like. It's kind of like a thread. It's almost like a boucle. But you can see it's kind of fleecy looking. This was called uh, Shoulder, Shoulder Stall Pellerino. Um, like I said, it's discontinued, but my local yarn store had some and I saw it and initially it was going to be for a hat. And then the more I looked at it, the more I liked it and I wanted a knitting sheep. So that's what she looks like knitted up with this. Uh, the, the fleecy part is knit with 10.5 US needles and the body with the, uh, the fingering weight is knit with a three. And, um, it was a lot of fun to knit, and now I've got a cute little sheep because I'm like I like sheep. So that is my newest little little pattern design that I have done. I also have some other big news. I won another giveaway. I had um, entered a giveaway on. It's called the Yarn and You Girl podcast. If you have not watched her, you should. She's a lot of fun. She owns a on-store yarn shop as well as she does some pattern designs. Um, she's a lot of fun to watch. And she just had a giveaway for her 600 subscriber. And my name got drawn. So I am getting a, a another project bag. It's really it's cute. It's black and it has little um, teapots and teacups on it. I don't know if it's a zipper or if it's a drawstring. I'm not positive. I think it's a zipper. I'll show it with you guys when it comes in. Um, but I won that. And um, I think the company that makes it is called Stitchin' U E W E. And the Yarn and You Girl podcast, it's Yarn and the U is E W E. So uh, check her out. She's a lot of fun to watch. And. Yeah, so that was exciting this week. I, in fact, I was sitting in my in my chair downstairs in the living room, and I was watching YouTube, and my husband was watching YouTube, and she announced my name, and I like 
like started like hollering. I was all excited, and my husband was like, "What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong?" I was like, "I won something!" So, yeah, I was excited. So with that, I will show you what my works in progress are. We also have a yarn haul at the end of the episode. So, um, yeah, it's been a fun week for me. So this is the shawl that I have been designing. If you think of a name, let me know, because I'm looking for names for it. And whoever I happen to pick uh, that, I, that I choose the name that you, you put down, um, you will get a free pattern when the pattern is released. So this is what it looks like so far. It starts here. It is asymmetrical, and it is going to be different colors that are going to shade into each other. Here is a diamond shape. And then this is where I was at last week, where the progress keeper is. Um, it goes into like a striped, not really striped, but it's got like diagonal lines. And now I'm into this section here where it is striped. Um, I've moved into this darker color. And I'm trying to remember what this was. This is semolina. And this is also Knit Picks palette fingering weight yarn. And it looks more gold than it really is. It's kind of a straw color, actually. Not like the fluorescent yellow that it's looking like. So, from a distance. And it has some holes in it. Not intentional. I mean, they're, they're intentional holes. I didn't, like, accidentally put holes in my, my knitting. Those are going to be, you can see the little holes right here. That's going to be a, a design pattern. So, yeah, I didn't, I didn't accidentally stick holes in my knitting there. So that is how far I've gotten on my shawl design pattern. And like I said, if you think of a name that you think would be good for the shawl, um, put it in the comments below. And whoever I happen to pick that I like the name of it uh, will get a free copy of the pattern when it is released. Um, the other thing I thought I would show you was my Cozy Memories blanket. I have only done like a square and a half on this this week. But I did want to show you the... Um, the spinning that I showed last week from the Rolex that was called Inferno, I wanted to show you what it looked like when it was knitted up. So, this is this is it. It's very campfire-y colored. Kind of smoky colored with some oranges and some, uh, some reds and kind of a burnt umber color. And I did double this because I spun this at a lace weight because there wasn't that much. It was just a sample that was sent to me. So I spun it as a lace weight, and then when I saw I knew I had enough, then I doubled it. So it's, it's probably about a fingering weight for what I knitted up. But I thought I would show you what it looked like when it was finished, because it always looks different when it's taken off from a hank and to when it's knitted up. It just can look totally different. So I thought I would share that with you. And then I've been working on my Banner Unfurled, which is my first design pattern for Ravelry. And we do have a knit along. It's running two more weeks. It will end officially in two weeks. Um, so you have two weeks to finish it. If you have not started it yet, um, it takes about a week and a half to knit if you use the yarn that is called for in the pattern, which is a sport weight yarn. This is actually a lace weight yarn, so I've been knitting on it forever, I feel like, at this point. But I have moved into the third color. Here's the rest of it. Let's see if I can hold it back this far so you can see it. This is for my daughter-in-law for Christmas. And when I make my mother's and my, and my daughter's, uh, I also have lace weight yarn, but I'm not doing this in lace weight. Like I said next last week, I'm combining it. I've got enough yarn that I can like double or triple the yarn and knit it together to make it more closer to the pattern size because my stitch count's got to be like over a hundred and some stitches at this point just to go across. Um, just because I'm basing off a of size, not so much the stitch count in the pattern at this point because of the difference in the lace weight compared to the sport weight. So this is what it looks like and the beads that are going with this came in this week that I was really, really happy. Sometimes when you order things online, it's really hard to get a, a real feel for the size of it uh, or the color of it. But this one came in pretty true to color. I'm gonna see if it'll show up here. I'm gonna put my hand behind this. Yeah, pretty good. It is 
Uh, my hand keeps getting in the way. It is definitely like a denim navy blue. Yeah, I know that's blurry, but to try to get it close enough for you to see the color, yeah, it's it's going to go very nicely. The section that the beads are going to go on is is a white section, and you can't even see it because my fingers. Oh well, Let's see if I can do it that way. Not really. That's not going to work either. Oh well, I guess you have to take my my word on it. Because I can't seem to hold it enough to show you what it's going to look like. But anyway, there's the bag of the. There we got it. Really good color. There you go. This is the color that's going to be on there. And uh, yeah, so I was excited when that came in, and I was really pleased that the color was the right color for it. Because like I said, so often you get a a surprise, and it's a little different. But that was pretty true to color. And like I said, the knit along runs for two more weeks. If you want to enter it, all you have to do is put a finished project, project uh, which would be the banner on for old pattern. You just put a finished object picture. I get that out right. Uh, a picture of your finished object in my Ravelry group, and the link below is right here in my in my description box. If you click that and just post a picture and tell me what kind of yarn you used, you will be entered in the giveaway. And as always, here's the prize. You get this project bag, which is a drawstring project bag. Uh, you get stitch markers, you get a project keeper, and the primrose yarn. And it's really showing up really true to color right now. That's how bright that pink really is. And the blues. So... And that's Blueberry Jazz is what the color is. We do have somebody else who's entered. Um, I believe her name is Linda. I'm not sure. Uh, she did her, her shawl in Hempology, uh, which is a hemp-based yarn, I believe. And she did it in autumnal color. So it's, it's like in a, I think it's a green, like a melon green and a yellow and an orange color, I think. I think it was yellow, green, and orange. It's kind of an autumn color. So um, that was just posted this afternoon. So congratulations, Linda. It looks very nice. And um, now we will get to the yarn haul that I went. Um, there is a yarn store that's it's over the mountain from where I live. So it's up in Chambersburg. It's about 20, 24, 25 miles from me. But once a year, they have a porch sale where they put everything that you know they want to get rid of basically or that isn't selling for two dollars and a lot of it's pretty decent yarn so that's what i thought i would show you this week is what i i went up there on tuesday because they'd only do it a couple days during the week so i bought two skeins of this this is crofter dk and it's in it's got some kind of like um like a mulberry color and there's kind of a turquoisey green and a purple you know the colors I wear all the time and let's see what is it made of it says it gives a fair isle effect while you're knitting it so it's going to like intersperse the colors it is 50 grams 184 yards or 170 meters 60% acrylic, 25% cotton, and 15% wool. I am not normally a sock knitter. I have knit socks before, but it's not something I do on a regular basis because I do wear dresses all the time, and dresses and socks just kind of look funny together. But around the house, I wear socks all the time for the most part. So if, I, if I'm not barefoot, I'm in a pair of socks. So I am going to use these to make a pair of socks. And... I'm debating between, these are both free patterns on Ravelry, the Mercury socks, which everybody was making there for a while, and I looked at that pattern and it really looks pretty. There's also one called the Blueberry Waffle pattern, and that one looks really simple and really pretty. So I'm not sure which one it's going to get made into. They're, you know, they're both kind of lacy a little bit in some parts, like they have little lace panels going up them. So, um, yeah, pair of socks. So that's my first thing from my yarn haul. Then I bought two skeins of this. 
it's kind of like it goes from an accrued color to a to a green uh let's see there's the green kind of an olivey green to a almost chartreuse color yellow you can see it right there and then to a gray i have no clue what i'm going to make out of this i just saw it and like the colors and went oh let's do that um i must have been on a cotton kick because i bought a lot of cotton uh, this is 100% cotton, and it is Katcha, and the color is called Bombay, Bombay, yeah, Bombay, and it's 100 grams, 3, oun three ounces, uh, 251 yards, or 230 meters. So, like I said, I have no idea what I'm going to make with it, but I have a lot of, like, shawls and things that are made out of wool. And I can't wear them during the summertime because it's just entirely too hot. So I think that's why I'm kind of leaning a little bit towards some, some cotton knitting. So, yeah, I have no idea. Don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I just liked it. And for $2, you can't go wrong. So I bought that. And then I went and I bought two of the... I bought two of everything because I wanted to make sure I had enough because... Last year when I was up there, I bought some yarn and then I wanted more and I called them and they had no more because what they were selling was discontinued stuff or things they didn't have anymore. So I kind of learned my lesson. More is better. I can always gift it away to somebody if I don't use it all or use it up with something else. So this is Katya also. I must also have been not only on a cotton kick, but I must have been on a Katya kick. This is Katya Belize. And the color is just, um, it says Tindada 308. That is, oh, that's the dye is Tindada, which also is another word for dye, I guess. But anyway, the color is just a number. It's 308. And it is in like a salmon. It looks really bright orange in this picture. It's not. All this bright orange that you're seeing here is really not. It is kind of a well there is some there's there is some bright orange in there it's it's kind of a sherbet orange and then there's some yellow and there's once again gray because you know gray goes with everything um and kind of a raspberry color here where it kind of bleeds the orange kind of bleeds into kind of a washed out kind of raspberry color so again no clue what i'm making with it it might turn into a gift I really don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but, you know, I have it. Then I bought two of each of these. This is going to be a shirt or a sweater. And again, it's cotton. <laughs> and this is Cascade Yarns, and it is called Sierra. All the colors are called Sierra. So I bought, I bought these. Very much autumnal colors. Huh. It's funny, these are almost the color of, of Linda's shawl that she made. They're almost the same color. Oops, well, there went the orange one. Anyway, we have two of each, so I will just hold up one of each, because obviously I cannot hold two at a time. I just dropped some of them onto the floor. So, we have Cascade Yarns in the Sierra. They are 100 gram, 3.5 ounces, 191 yards. And they are 80% Pima cotton and 20% wool. So these are really, really soft. So this is actually, it looks really, really bright in the light. It's gold. It's not this fluorescent tea color that I'm seeing. Hopefully it'll show up better when you all look at this. But it's actually a gold. And then we have this, which is kind of a burnt orange. And then we have this really pretty green. Now the green is showing up pretty true to color. So I think it's going to be either a striped shirt or a striped cardigan. I'm not sure which at this point or what pattern or anything else. I just grabbed what I thought would be enough to do this with. We can hope. It's either that or I'm going to have a very short shirt or, or sweater, but I think we'll be okay. So that was my other purchase. And then I had one other purchase and this stuff is really wild. I never have heard of yarn made out of this. If this is just black. It is called Sugar Rush. And it is by Queensland. 
It is extremely soft. It has a little weight to it, um, but I can just tell feeling it. I mean, it is so, so, so soft. And um, I can just tell by the feel of it, it is going to really drape nicely. And then I looked at what it was made of. Never would have guessed. It is made from sugar cane. Yeah, you heard right, sugar cane. It is 50 grams. Let me see. 50 grams, 137 yards, 125 meters. It is 100% sugar cane viscose. Guys, it is so, so very soft. And what I'm pairing this with, if you remember a few episodes back, I had bought this. My local yarn shop has a $2 table as well. And I had bought this, which I'm going to take apart and use almost like a sock blank. And it goes through all these different colors, like purples and pinks and like a real deep um, magenta color. And then there's a lighter purple and then almost a red and eventually it gets into black so i'm putting these together and i'm making another on the spice market i love that shawl um it was funny i was watching the the cozy up with the stitching sisters and they're doing the um on the spice market shawl and there's one stitch in the spice market shawl that they don't like to do. They said it is, it is, it's a very pretty stitch, but it, they didn't like the stitch. Um, so they were all joking about this one stitch. Every time they have to do it, they always dread it. And that was my favorite part of the shawl. I loved doing that stitch. I really liked it um, because it, it was like, you can, because it's like little bubble stitches that you do all the way across that row goes really really fast it's like hop skip and a jump all the way across the, the shawl so um yeah the stitch they didn't like was actually my favorite stitch but that's what this is going to be it is going to be another on the spice market and this is going to be the background color for it so you can really see these together i think it's going to look like a stained glass window because these are really rich jewel tones and i just think with the black in the background the last on the spice market I did was done with pinks and purples and my background color was gray. And I always said if I did it again, I would do it with a black in the background because I just think it would make the rest of the colors really pop and especially these colors. So I think it's, it's going to be very like rich and jewel toned colored. So, um, yeah, I'm excited about it. No idea when I'm going to get to it cause I've got a whole list of things to do, but you know, I've got it for when the time comes. So that was my, well, that was almost all of my yarn haul. The other part of my yarn haul was I got my knit crate in and I'm going to insert the video in a second so that you can see the unboxing because you know me, there's no way I was going to get it on Tuesday and wait until Saturday to open it up. There's no way. It was sitting there calling my name. So I went ahead and recorded it ahead of time. So I will insert that right here. Okay, I thought I would share, share with you my Knit Crate subscription. I just got this in. Uh, it came in today, and I don't want to wait till Saturday to show it to you. Uh, so I, I actually have looked at Knit Crate before and decided against it because of the price. Because what I had seen was like $45 or $50 a month. Then I was watching Margaret Erlander, who does Sheepishly Sharing, and she was saying that Knit Crate offers other boxes at different price points. And one of them was like a sock and fingering weight um, box that doesn't have a lot of the little extras and goodies, which I don't really need the goodies. And so it was like thirty, thirty-eight ninety-five. I'm no thirty-three ninety-five, and then. If you go over to her website um, on her podcast, she was offering a 20% discount um, through them. So check out her latest podcast if you want to learn more about the discount. But the discount was 20% off, which was like over $6. So that by the time it was all said and done, I paid $28. Okay, There's two skeins of yarn in this, and they're hand-dyed. So I did the math, and it comes out 
to with the discount it comes out to roughly $14 or $15 a skein. That's cheaper than I can get it any place else for a hand dyed yarn. So um, the regular price, like I said, is I believe it's $33.89 or $33. It's $33 something, almost $34. But even that, and that includes free shipping, that you don't have to pay for shipping on top of that. Even at the full price, it's about $17 a skein. And if you go into like Etsy or even in your local yarn shop, um, it, the average price for hand dyed yarn is in a fingering weight runs you around twenty six to twenty eight dollars. Somewhere in that ballpark is about the average price. So without further ado, I have I I did like open the bottom here, so I did not have a lot of crinkling and cutting. But I have not opened the box, so we're going to do it together. I'm going to hold it up this way, so. You guys actually will see it first, and hopefully the yarn won't fall out when I do it, like it just did. I lost some things. Let's see. This is called Color Me Fresh. The yarn is Knitology Fresh Start, 60% Merino, 20% Alpaca, 20% Nylon Base. Um, the total retail value is $24 a skein, so it's $48, but that, like I said, was not what I paid. Plus, it gives you, and I'm going to cover this, but it gives you some bonus codes as well. Um, and the bonus codes are for some patterns and some merchandise. So, yeah, there are some bonus codes on the back that you can use. And... It says, win a Knit Crate $50 gift card. Take a picture of your Knit Crate. There we go. Well, we will be doing that anyway. So, now to look at the yarn. Look at that gorgeousness. Is that pretty? Let me get this out. Hmm, smells good, too. It looks like, it just reminds me, it's called Fresh Start, but it just reminds me of springtime. I mean, it's got, both of them are the same. They're very, they're very soft. They are a single ply. So it's not two, it's, it's a single ply. And it goes from, this is kind of a pistachio green. It's not showing up real good. Well, this is more pistachio green. This is kind of a minty green. And then it's got a pretty lavender, kind of like irises. And then over here, it's got a darker green. And then there's kind of a sagey green running through here. Really, really pretty. There is, let's see how many yards. It's a fingering weight, 440 yards. So the two of these together are 880 yards. That's a shawl. That is a shawl you could make with this. So, and like I said, it's, it's very soft. Oh, look at that, it matches my shirt. Well, because I wear purple so much of the time, everything matches what I make. But, um, yeah. So, that is what came in my knit crate. Pretty cool. Exciting. Okay, I thought I would show you now the knitology that I got. Um, I did show it in the video, but the lighting wasn't that great, so I thought I would show you it a little bit better here. Here's the tag. Just says Knitology. It is superwash, 100% superwash merino, sport weight, 328 yards or 300 meters, and 100 grams. And there's two skeins. They always give you two skeins. And the colors are coming pretty true to form here. They are gorgeous. It's called Kiss. So, and it's like all different shades of pink and red. You can see some of the pink in there, like right in here. So it's, it's different shades of pink and red and almost down to a magenta over here. And then there's some more vibrant reds up in here. So, um, yeah, I thought I would show them. To, there you go. So you can see them a little bit closer. And they're very, very soft. And so far I have been happy with the, the um, Knit Crate box. When I first decided to subscribe to it, I was a little hesitant. And I had been in the past just because... I figured if I was going to spend that much on yarn, I wanted to get it something that I picked out. But 
I thought, well, I'll give them a try and we'll see how we go with it. But so far, I've gotten two months worth and I've been very happy with both of the yarns that they picked out. Um, have been things that I've enjoyed. So, yeah. So I'm I'm excited to wait for the next box to come. And as if I need more yarn, I mean, I just did a yarn haul and I'm going on vacation and getting more yarn. But, you know, I can't have enough yarn. So, yeah. Next week, my husband and I are doing a um, yard sale to save up to bring money on vacation to buy more yarn. Yeah. So um, we downsized before we moved here. We've been living in, in our house now for nine years. And we downsized before we moved here. I don't know why because the house is actually bigger than the one we moved from. But um, yeah, we downsized. And... We still have reaccumulated stuff where there's things that we took with us that we just don't use. I saw I'm going through some of my craft things. Years ago, I got into calligraphy. I, I actually wanted to have a nicer signature for when I wrote my name on things so it looked like legible. And yeah, I never went further with it. My husband for Christmas gave me a whole calligraphy kit that's sitting in a box and has been for years. So I thought I would put that in the yard sale and I've got some other crafting things that I just don't do much anymore. I used to be big into stencils and and like trying to paint like paint by number. I'm I'm not a good like painter on my own. I could paint my wall and that's about it. I'm not gifted that way, but I've got a bunch of paints and some stencils and stuff like that. So a lot of that is going away. So I'm going to be selling that and Hopefully getting some money for it that will be going with me on vacation to buy yarn, which is something I really will use, even though I'm like turning into a total hoarder of the yarn at this point. But, you know, I've, I've got more options this way. I'm, that's, I'm justifying this, can you tell? I'm really trying to justify it, but I like my yarn. So, um, yeah, so next next Saturday after the podcast, I'll have to let, after our yard sale, I'll be doing the podcast, so I'll have to let you know how it went, and I'll fill you in then on how our vacation plans are coming with my yarn shop, um, the yarn crawl that I'm doing up through uh, Connecticut and Rhode Island. So I guess that is it for this week, and if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed, click the little red button and subscribe. And there's Shirley the Sheep putting in one more appearance before she goes. So thanks for turn, tuning in, guys, and I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.